always fun. Oh, no, some and fun then at eight thirty, Johnny, I do believe you'll be chatting too. Are and you Robinson, yeah, I am too. Oh, I am. Of course, I'm there. Johnny's feeling great. Oh, taken away. That is a tw it's a fifteen-year-old photo. It's a no, lovely it's a shot. Lovely shot. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Oh. Anne. <laughs> that actually is from my bedside table. Oh. Oh. Uh, but right now, though, have you still got the big one on your wall? I've got the full-length one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, that's marvellous. It's got a big, <laughs> swirly, evil black coat. <laughs> uh, do you know what? It's time to go over to Jasmine Lawson, ladies and gentlemen. She's got the big breakfast news. Yay! Good morning. These are the main stories on Thursday, the 16th of November. Harrison's family hit back. Last chance for the dome. And Britney's showstopper. George Harrison's attacker has spent his first night in a psychiatric hospital. Michael Abram broke into their Oxford home and repeatedly stabbed the former Beatle, but was found not guilty on the grounds of insanity. It's tragic anyone should suffer such a mental breakdown and commit such a brutal act. We can never forget that he was full of hatred and violence when he came into our home. Presidential hopeful George W. Bush has rejected rival Al Gore's call for yet another recount. But W. said it would be neither fair nor accurate. He leads Gore by 300 votes. Needless to say, it's left comedians with a minefield of material. It could be the Millennium Dome's last chance to dodge the bulldozer. Government ministers are expected to decide whether to accept a bid by a group known as Legacy, who want to turn it into a business park. Britain's gone and got a reputation for heavy drinking. New research shows we're shunning the traditional boozer to become one of Europe's leading cafe societies, second only to Portugal. Britney Spears' end of tour party brought downtown London to a standstill, but the show was stolen with the arrival of her so-called good friend William. Fans and the press went crazy at the sight of the lookalike. Some even missed the real star's entrance. Oops. Here's the sport. Taylor's Tots may have lost 1-0 in their Turin test, but the signs are good for the future of English football, as Lee Ray Sullivan reports. A big night out for Captain Bex, who led by example. In the first half, setting Emil Heskey up, before taking a shot himself. Then, just after the break, was it or wasn't it a penalty? Renault Gattuso could have been booked, but instead raced downfield to launch the winner. Sub Seth Johnson nearly scored with his first touch, but yet again it was another night of if onlys for English football. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house with the weather.